And welcome back. Well, coming up this Friday and Saturday is the 19th annual Milwaukee Short Film Festival. The event was rated Best Local Festival by Movie Maker Magazine. And this year's festival focuses on diversity and women in filmmaking. And the co-director, Ross Bigley, is here along with one of the filmmakers, Ken Lawrence. Welcome to the Morning Blend. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Here. Already a prize winner in Ken, mm -hmm. what, last year? Yes. Yes, returning to the festival. What designates a short film? Mm -hmm. I would say that uh, what designates a short film is besides the time limit is you're able to tell a story in a compacted period of time. You're not with a, with a feature you're drawing out a narrative mm -hmm. in a three act structure but with short films you're able to condense in maybe seven ten minutes. Okay and is that the limit seven to ten minutes? They're, they're generally about that. We take films up to 15 minutes. Do you think it's easier or harder to tell a full complete story in that time frame? I think it's harder. You do? Yes. Because because you have to develop a character so quickly, or why? I mean, you just got to compact everything. It's mm -hmm. like easier when you got more time. Right. But it's still fun. It's challenging. Yeah. I enjoy it. Good. And you have two films entered this year, right? Yes. So talk a little bit about your inspiration for your storylines. Well, the 27th Street documentary, I was just driving down 27th Street one day, and honestly, I was on South 27th, and it was really bright, and it seemed really nice out. And then we got to North 27th, it just seemed like it was dark. Then I really looked, it was just like, everything was closed down on North 27th Street. There's no businesses. Um, and when I was a kid, I used to be over there a lot because my dad worked at uh, A.O. Smith, which closed down. And I think that's what kind of really took down North 27th Street. Mm -hmm. And South 27th, there's so many opportunities. There's all kind of businesses, big ones, small ones, you know. And I just want to tell a story about it. struck you. Hard Life, we were seeing a couple clips from. What is Hard Life about? Uh, it's a song, first of all, that me and my cousin Julius wrote. Yeah. Um, and we just wanted to shoot a video. A bunch of friends were over. I was like, you guys want to shoot a music video? And I want to tell the story about just, you know, some people, lives are hard. Mm -hmm. and everybody don't have it good and, you know, just wanted people to feel it. Mm -hmm. do, do, almost, uh, do most of these short films, do you have intentions to make them longer or do they live in your, in your mind as a short film? Well, the documentary, I do want to make that longer one day. Mm -hmm. The 27th Street? Yeah, but yeah. the other films I made the last couple of years, they were just, you know, meant to be shorts. Yeah. Where did the inspiration for a festival celebrating this format come from? Uh, well, I started in 1994 and at that time there were very few venues that actually had short film festivals or even a film festival in the city. So I decided to begin one, and we've been doing it off and on in the beginning, but it became an annual event that, with the fourth year. Mm -hmm. How do you, why do you think you got chosen as one of the top film festivals for short films? Um, I think that's because of possibly the selection of films that we mm -hmm. show and how we cater to the filmmakers yeah. themselves, yeah. Well, and it's neat that this year, especially you're, you're celebrating diversity, you're celebrating female directors mm -hmm. as well. Is this the most amount of female directors you've had? Yes, we're actually seeing an uptick in female directors. Last year, or a couple years ago, we've had maybe a handful of films. Now, all of a sudden, every year, there's getting to be more and more female directors making films. And this year, we're, what we're showing is double what we had last year. That's great. Yeah, and talk a little bit about the, is there a greater abundance of, of films made by female directors now, or is it just that, I don't know. I think that could be a variety of things. Um, I think that could be because that filmmaking, a lot of people have a story to tell nowadays or feel they have a story to tell, and it's kind of easier to pick up a camera nowadays yeah. than it was years ago mm -hmm. to film. Everyone's maybe has editing software on their computer now too. Or on their phone. Yeah, <laughs> so you, you shoot a film on I, your iPhone and edit it. Um, so it's getting a little bit more financially feasible to do a, a mm -hmm. short film or have an idea. Most people have ideas now. Most people are more interested in doing you know, yeah. filmmaking, they, mm -hmm. I've, I've heard it from people all over. I love it. I Me think it's too. great, and I think if you have an interest in it, or if you love it, or you just want to go see some great films, the film festival is going on Friday and Saturday. It's the 19th annual Milwaukee Short Film Festival. Here's where you go, Fox Bay Cinema Grill. It's right in Whitefish Bay. You can learn more and see all those films by going to the, um, the website as well. What is the website? MilwaukeeIndependentFilmSociety.org. Tickets are only $10. Awesome, and that allows you to take in multiple films? Uh, $10 per Session. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thank so you much. so much. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it.